Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and you, de bellamente y tú y yo. And today, you guys, I have a reallocation of all the money that I saved in the putting to put it put it in the putting the puzzle together challenge and i want to bring to you and show you what i'm going to be doing with those cash funds and if that sounds like something that interests you seeing where i'm going to put this two thousand two hundred and eighty dollars that we managed to save then let's get right into the video all right here in my binder we'll get to that in a minute here in my binder <laughs> we have um let me see, putting the puzzle together here. And I did have $1,500 in the bank. And I went to the bank and pulled that cash out so we can go ahead and reallocate the money. So let me introduce that. And here's the cash. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 50, 11, 50, 12, 50, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 14, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1500 dollars here. And that's gonna go in with the rest of the cash that I already had before we start the reallocation process. So let's go ahead and count up and make sure we have the total amount that we were supposed to have for this challenge, which is $2,280. Oh wait, where did that happen? How did that happen? Hold it, she already messing up. All right, let's go ahead and count this up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 50, 14, 50, 15, 16, 17, 1800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 19, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. 2280 dollars. That's exactly what we're going to be cash chefing today. So just give me a second and let me set it all up. All right, so as far as putting the puzzle together, I might do this one again. This was a really fun challenge. It was found in my Easy Cash Budget 1000 or Less Savings Challenge Planner. That is available for a digital download over on Etsy, or you can find the actual physical product linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Um, and it has over 30 challenges included with that particular book on Amazon. And this one was so fun. I used Siri and y'all. Me and Siri have become close. I'm gonna have to use her for something else. <laughs> but for right now, we're gonna do away with this envelope and put it all the way to the back. Again, I might revisit it soon. All right, so as far as what I wanna do with this actual funds, I kinda made a game plan just on paper and some of it, I'm gonna have to wing it, right? Because I'm doing some scratch offs and some other things and so it's not always gonna line up exactly, but let's just get into the business. First off, I don't know why I put this binder away. Um, I did do a short that was in regards to a scratch off challenge and I don't even know if it's been posted yet, but I did take the ones out of my Moterm wallet and I did the character scratch off just to try to save a little bit more with those ones. And I was $5 in the hole. So first things first, I O U gone. We need to put $5 in there. So let me see exactly what I have. I'm also gonna try to do a little mini bill condensing because I know this is a lot of ones because these were all the ones out of my wallet, okay? So we're gonna put those over there, put some of this over here. So this has an extra $5 in. This little challenge is coming along as well. All right, and there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I know this should be 25 then. 1, 2, 3. Or you know what? Let me not even do it like that. 176. So let's just put 20, 40, 60, 70, 5. 76, so this should be $100, and we'll put that over here. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm gonna put $100 over here and take a $100 bill out, and this challenge will have $176 so far. You guys, let me know, is the lighting like so different on this video than my usual? I did move upstairs in the office space to film there um, instead of in my room. And my room has a lot of windows and this one just literally has one right in front of me. So 20, 40, 60, 75, 76. 
So there's $176 going into the character scratch off and I no longer have an IOU for that. Look for that short to be coming out soon. And then when you see that, you'll see how I got that IOU. I'm not gonna put anything into home rentals, but I am gonna take a thousand out of here because I did have to get my garbage disposal and my sink replaced. And instead of me holding this $2,000 to go towards um, flooring, I'm gonna take 1,000 1, out towards the sink, okay? And so I basically used it out of savings and I was trying to figure out what I'd do. And I decided I'd just take it out of home reno since it really was a home reno and I will get to the flooring soon enough. All right, let's see, what else do we have? I'm not gonna do that mini scratch and save just yet, but I do wanna do Christmas. This is my Christmas challenge card. Each of these big bulbs is worth $175 and all the little ones are $100 each. And when I get done, I should have a total of $2,000 saved for Christmas. Right now I have 175, 275, 375. One, two, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 50, 75. Yeah, 375. So I wanna go ahead and add in these two big bulbs and three smalls, which will be $650 going towards Christmas out of this. That's the beauty in savings challenges. I really feel like one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, let me get this money before I better mess it up. I really feel like with savings challenges, you can save them and then reallocate them towards some of the sinking funds that you want, like, or if you wanna pay it towards debt, if you wanna pay it towards Christmas, or you know, any type, any type of long-term goals, you actually can use a savings challenge to just make it a little bit more fun and motivating. All right, so 650, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 58, 59, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 1,025. Now I do have to color in the two large and three small bulbs, so give me just a minute for that. I just picked some random colors of my dot markers and I'm gonna go ahead and color these in. So let's see. Oh, I guess I should start over here. Two, three, All right, so there it is. I colored in one, two, three small ones for 100 and two large ones for 350. So that's a total of $650. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 left. So once we have that extra $1,000, we'll be $25 over. But yes, that will be the challenge. Christmas has been taken care of. And you guys, I felt so behind on Christmas, but you know, with a thousand dollars going into the summer, I feel like we could probably make it from here. But if I do complete another savings challenge, some more might actually be going into this Christmas challenge as well. All right, so that's that. Let me see, I'm not doing that one. I do wanna do build the blocks. This is one savings challenge that's double-sided. It's build the blocks in 52 weeks. So you have numbers one through 52 on this side and you will save $1,378. And on the opposite side, you have save 20, number 23s, and you'll save 460 for 2023, all right? So I'm gonna do the build the block side. That's what I've been working on. And I wanna pick maybe a few numbers. How much do I have? 1, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 178. Okay. So if I have 178, I want to get to 22. So let me see how I can do that. A number 10 and a number 12. And 12. All right, so now it looks like this. So that's going to be $22 going into this challenge, which then ought to make this another 100, 20, 30, 40, 35, 50, 40. Yeah, I can't count. I said 45. Okay, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Yeah, and then a 20 makes 100. So I'm gonna keep this 100 out and put 100 in and we'll be exactly at 200. And I have some other smaller change that I can use towards savings challenges. So let's see. Mainly the scratch offs is what I feel like I might need it for, but you know, you just never know. So we'll put the $200 into this challenge here. And that one is available in my Etsy storefront. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I am offering a 20% off sale through Memorial Day. So it'll be off, the sale runs through May 29th. 
So you wanna head over there and get yourself some goods, 20% off. Also, everything in my shop is on sale. I did make and load a few savings challenge boxes. So those are already ready to ship. And if you are interested in that, head over there. That's the first and last time they will ever be on sale. <laughs> There's only a few of them. So I was like, I might as well put them on sale. All right, so that's that challenge. I'm not doing Jessica's challenge. Actually, let me move this one to the back because I'm not gonna be doing this challenge for a while until I clean off the tracker and I might get restarted. But for right now, I have some other things that I'm doing. So we're gonna put that one towards the back. I do want to, however, work on the winter challenge. Now this one is gonna save, I don't sell this card anymore in my Etsy store. It used to be a double-sided tracker for um, summer savings, which I completed. And then winter, I went more aggressive and I made every single snowflake $25. And when you're done, you have a total of 725. Okay, so right now, I ended up taking the money out when I did a restart of all my binders. If you didn't see that video, I'll put it up here. But when I re did a restart of all my binders in the beginning of the year, I took the money out of this challenge. And so, but the dots were already colored in this lighter blue. I started coloring in the darker blue. And so right now, I want to add some more money to this challenge. So let's see, let's go ahead and do $75, which we'll just color in those three. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, $100 now. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in these three, like I said, that were already there colored. So now I won't be confused. The tracker will be accurate again, and we can go from there. So let's put $75 into this challenge. 20, 40, 60, 75. And you know what, I might, um, condense some of this too, because I'm trying to get rid of all these hundreds. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 175, 20, 40, 60, 75. So this ought to be a hundred dollars. I'm gonna put this back. You guys get a bill condensing and a cash stuffing. Okay, we're doing all the things today. All right, let's see. So that's 175 going into the winter challenge. And even though it's not winter, if I have this completed by winter, <laughs> we might just have us a little Christmas vacation. I thought I might have it by summer, but there's still quite a bit to be done here. With only 175, it still needs another $600. So we're gonna see what we can do on that one as we go. But at least now the tracker's up to date. You see what I'm saying? The tracker's good. All right, so that's that. So now, let me see, do I wanna move on to, I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna get in this binder anymore because in my plan of plans, I have something more important than that, which is my savings box and my 100 envelope box, okay? So for the savings box, I did plan out what I actually wanna stuff in here. I wanna complete section six and some more of section seven. So let's get on to section six. I do have my Visa Vis wet erase marker. And so I'm gonna be putting um, $150 into section six and we will complete that section. If you don't know about this actual um, savings challenge, it comes with 12 envelopes, 12 trackers, okay? Section one through 12 and then it has four numbers to save on every single section. So you can save them as fast as you would like. I'm gonna put this 50 in and bring out two hundreds because that's what goes in that section. Um, as for me, I am trying to finish it pretty quickly because some of this might have to go towards my daughter's um, meal plan or something along those lines or just her having some more spare money when she starts college and I don't wanna worry about it, you know? so. That's what I'm gonna use the majority of this for is what I'm thinking. But for right now, we're just gonna keep saving, right? We can't go wrong if we just keep putting money away. If something comes up, we got it. All right, section seven, I also wanted to do two because that was only 150. Let's do um, number 55. I'm gonna check this one too. And number 60. I had already did that one, but it just didn't look dark enough. So then we only have one more left to complete that section. And so that's gonna be 105, no, 115 dollars going into that section should be 230. Hold on. All right, so if it's supposed to be 230 minus seven, that means it'll be 160. 
So I'm going to take this five out. And instead of putting in, uh oh, wait a minute, five out. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna put in 120 instead of 115. So that's 120, 40, 60, 160 dollars going into this cubby so far. And I only need 70 more dollars for this section to be done. I think I'm gonna start, like I said, hitting this pretty aggressively throughout the summer. It probably won't be done until the end of summer, but at least I know that if I need to pull some cash out, this is always an option. All right, so that's the savings box. Like I said, I loaded a few of them in my Etsy store and they are on sale, 20% off. I've never offered a sale on this one before and I only have a few. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So if you get over there, you get it, you do. Let's move on to this or that. All right, so for the this or that challenge, ooh, y'all, there's so much to do that I don't even know what I wanna do first. Let's try to do one from each section. Last time that kind of worked out good. Let me see. So for this side, I'm gonna save $20. This is in section one. These cards are all available in my Etsy storefront. You can buy one card, you can buy many, you can buy the whole book with the binder if that's what you need. This one's section one, and we're also gonna do a scratch. All right, let's go ahead and do a scratch. I finally got a quarter. Let's do, ooh. See, this is how I got, got last time. Let's try this one. Okay, not bad at all. I'll take that. I don't know if I'm gonna do one from each one because I kind of had an idea of how much I wanted to spend on this particular challenge. So let's do 23 plus 20 and that'll be 43 for this particular envelope. One, two, see? Now the ones come in handy. Put this one back. Let's see, 20, 40. 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 77. I could change it out for a five, but I'm gonna leave it in there because I don't want all ones later. So that's section one. All right, section two, double-sided card. Uh, let's see what we're gonna get on this one. Oh yeah, okay, the mini savings box. I think I'm gonna do number, let's do 10. We'll do number 10 in the third section. Okay, so that's this one. I just colored that in. And now let's do a scratch off on that side and see what we get. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I don't know which one. <laughs> which one? 10. Okay. It's adding up fast, but we are gonna keep going. All right, 29 and 10, which is gonna be $39 for this section. Let's add 39 in, and I don't even know what I had, but let's see, oh, I had 25. Okay, 39, 20, 35, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, there's 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, two, three, 64 dollars in this side, section two. Actually, let me uh, let me get the calculator. I'm gonna try to keep track of what I'm putting in, so that way I'll know. The first section I did 43. The section second section I did 39. Okay, we good. Let's go on to section three. Let's do a scratch out. Let's do the bottom one. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. These numbers coming in hot. Okay, let me see. $33, oh yeah, 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 and I could do the money ball on this side. Okay, 33, and let's do, we'll do an orange. Let's do a number seven, because that'll be 33 plus seven is 40. All right, we're up to $122 in this challenge so far. Hold on, let me put in 40. 10, 15, 20. I think I'm gonna take this 20 out of here. I feel like the 10s I might need later. So let's put another 20. All right, so we have 60, let's see, 20, 40, 65, six, 66 dollars in section three, section four. Your girl playing risky out here in these streets today, okay? 
she daredevil in it. But I got enough cash over here. It's just I got some other things I really need to get done. Okay, let's try um, top. Let's go to up top. $35. What's on the back of this one? Oh, bingo was his name Oh, Okay, I don't feel like pulling out the phone to do bingo, so we just gonna... Let's just do 35 on this one, and that's gonna save me some money anyway, because y'all know bingo could be doing... I don't know what it's gonna do. We're gonna put this one back in here and add $35 to section 4. 20. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ma'am, can you get your bills together? Okay. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70 dollars in section... Four. All right, moving on up. Section five. Oh wait, did I add that on there? Did I add that to the calculator, y'all? I don't think I did. Thirty-five. Okay, we at one fifty-seven so far. Let's go ahead and do section five. I think I'd rather do this side first. I'm gonna say let's do four. The random number is four. We scratch a multiplier. Let's scratch this one in the middle. Okay, that's not bad. That's $12. Look, y'all see I went with four. I went with something low because I ain't ready to be played with today. All right, so for this side, it's 12. And then on this side, eee, let's go in the middle. Wow. 12 plus 33. I'm seeing now, if I want to do every single card, I need at least $200. That's how much it takes. Okay, 12 plus 33. $45. 20, 45. And I already added it. So let's see what that's going to do. Okay, this one already has small bills, thank goodness. So there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 90 dollars in section five. Okay, section five coming to run the show. Last but not least, section six, which has a scratch off challenge on this side and a dime, one dime at a time on this one. Let's go ahead and let me see what's over here that I could do. I think I might have, cause I went just today. You guys, I just emptied my coins. I think I added a few in here. Oh, thank you, God. What she got? 50. I got 50 cents. I got some more in there, but we're going to leave it in there until next time I do a coin stuffing. So I got 50 cents. So let's see. Let's do let's do one of these big ones. Let's do 1150. All right, so that's 1150 for this side. And then on this side, let's just go ahead and finish off the top row. Yay! Aww, it's being nice. Okay, fifteen fifty. I'm just gonna say fifteen. Let's put this in. Take that out. Okay, so fifteen fifty is going in. Let's see how much section six says. Let's see how much section six has. There's a lot of ones in this section. I'm gonna take some out. There's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 83, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this should be 43. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Right. Okay, so let's take this forty out of here. All these ones I'm gonna need for my little hundred envelope, y'all, because I'm about to, we about to, we about to, right, handle some bees nest. I gotta get a car fixed. There's twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, two, three, eighty-three dollars, and the fifty cents is gonna go in the char, in the in the char, in the jar for the one dime at a time. Let me grab that. All right, here it is, and we're going to put our 50 cents over in there. This is for this is specifically for one dime at a time, okay? So these are all the coins from there, and that is it for the this or that.
If you guys are interested in getting your hands on some of these individual cards or the actual complete set of cards with the binder, head over to my Etsy store. I also sell just the binder without the cards. It's listed as a six ring disbound binder and the link is down in the Etsy store as well. All right, you guys, 20% off for this weekend. Next, I did wanna put some into one of my particular sinking funds and it's going to be clothes. And that's because it's coming up on, um, it's coming up on time for us to go shopping for some more summer clothes, especially for my youngest who is growing like weeds. Okay, he's turning into a preteen and he's shooting up like tall wildfires. Wild, shooting up like tall wild, wild flowers. That's what they're called, wild flowers. <laughs> so I wanna add $200 to this fund. Ooh, and we're out of hundreds. That's okay, that's okay. We got some 50s. All right, so now there's one, 52, 53, 325. And I'm gonna continue to add to clothing, but for right now, 325, if I do need to go get him some summer clothes, I won't have such an issue with it. So that's the only sinking fund I'm actually adding to. Next on the list is gonna be the stack mo money. All right, you guys, this is where things get serious. I gotta finish off this box so I can get that car fixed by the time my daughter goes to college, right? Right, so we're just gonna keep chugging ahead. Should I even start at the little ones? Mm -mm. Mama got a lot of money today. She going big. We going big today, today. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Where's the little tracker for? Here we go, 81 through 100. I think I only have one of these done right now. Yeah, I only have number 95 out of this whole section done. So I don't have enough to even complete this section, but we're going to put a dent in it. All right, let's see what we could do. You got any ideas where I should start? Because I don't. Let's start with <laughs> number 90 and 100. All right, that's a good, nice start. We'll go from there. 20, 40, 60. No, 20, 40, 60. 51. 50, 70, 90. 51 and then 90. So let me get those little envelopes out. And if you guys want to get your hands on one of these 100 envelope boxes, they are for sale by Amber at Two Moms Budget. I'll make sure her link is down below. She does offer a 10%, I think it is, discount code with um, a specific code that'll be down below as well um, in my description bar, okay? But also, I just recently made a video showing you how to make one. I'll put that up here. So if you guys are interested in making your own box that looks like this, you can check it out. There's some goodies in that video and it's worth the watch. All right, so there's 90 going in and then 100. Oh, she did the biggest one. Okay, then 100. All right, now let's see what we got. Might as well just keep going in the 90s. Let's do 91 and 92. 91, 92. 50, 70, 91. All right, we did 91 and 92. All right, now that I got some of the bigger ones done, wait, let me see, 80s, did I do any 80s? All right, now that we got some of the bigger ones done, I do wanna hit a little bit lower and do a couple on each tracker. So let's see. Man, I've hardly made a dent in this one either. How much I got over here, 51, 100? Okay, let's do two bigger ones on this one as well. Let's do number 79 and 78. 50, 70, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8. She's getting smarter about it, y'all. Look how I'm doing it now, okay? She's not about to be taking time taking all them bills out. All right, 79 and 78, 50, 70, 90, Wait a minute, what? 50, 75, 6, 7, 8. Those in this one. 
The craziest part is when you get done, you have $5,050, but it still have, I'm still quite a ways away from that. Like <laughs> I have a lot of work to do still on this box. And it seems like I don't because I've stuffed, stuffed so much today, but this, you guys know how long it took me to put the puzzle together. Like this is long-term savings I was doing. And now we're at the fruits where we get to actually put it to other uses. But literally I was stacking, I mean, I was stacking. I was putting this puzzle together for quite some time. 50, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9. And all the while just leaving it over there, having fun, trying to get to the end of that challenge. Knowing once I did, I probably allocate some to this 100 envelope box because I need to get that car fixed for my daughter and that's $5,000. This box will be 5,050. So yeah, that's really, and I might have some out of my savings that I put towards it. But for right now, in my mind, that's what this box is used for. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta play tricks with yourself. And I'll be doing that. Okay, 61. All right, so we did some from this one. We got a little bit more left. I know section one is completely done. So let's do this section right here, which is 41 through 60. Let's do number 48 and 58. 48 and 58. All right, let's see. 48 and 58. 140, 140. 5, 55, All right, let's see. For the number 58, we have, come on, I hate when the bills are like that on the corner. Okay, 58, 20, 40, 55, 6, 7, 8. And then 48, 20, 45, 6, 7, 8. 48 is the other one. 48. I think I'm gonna do 47 as well. It was sticking out and I think it's saying something to me. So let's just go ahead and do it while we have the extra cash. 20, 40, five. No, let me put two tens, hold on. 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 45, six, seven. All right, $47. Let's see, 20, 30, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Little box is filling up, y'all. Yeah. Filling up. Wait a minute, 41? Wait, I gotta stick this back in here. This is gonna be the hassle is doing this right here when you already, you gotta dig down in this little box and put these little trackers back down in here. Okay, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get that. Let me get that. All right, there we go. Ooh, it's starting to look good. What y'all think? Stack more money. Hold on. I know this thing gonna close. There we go. Stack more money has been stuffed. Last but not least, we are going to do the Scratch and Save Skipper Double Challenge Book Edition. And you guys already know, okay? Things be going crazy with the scratch-offs. We just gonna pray over it and hope it all work out. Let's count out what we got. Let me see what I could do in this book. What am I going to do with all these ones? I do not want to put that in my envelope. Let me figure out what I could do with that. We're going to leave that out. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Ooh, exactly $150. Dollars. The Scratch and Save Skipper Double Challenge Book Edition is a scratch-off book that has over 15 pages of scratch-offs with all varying dollar amounts. And each page tells you at the bottom, for instance, on this page, all scratch-offs are between five and 30. And so you could pick a page that's appropriate for your budget and scratch there when you have a, you know, a regular pay period. And if you get a bonus or some extra money, then you can pick a different page. We're gonna work on this page right here. Let's start here. I only have $150 and then I got some random ones before I have an IOU. So let's just see what it does. It's coming in hot. It's coming in real hot. We'll switch up if it gets too crazy. 41. 33. That's 74. We halfway there and we only did two dots. 
Okay, let's see what this one is. <laughs> it is really coming in. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me where's Mr. Uh, Mr. Calculator? Hey, Mr. Calculator. 41 plus 33 plus 44 plus, that's 118. Are we even gonna be able to, oh, skip or double? Are we even gonna be able to finish this page? We're at 118. I'm going with the big time double. We're going to double the next one on this page. And y'all, it got to be less than 50. 50 or less. Is there a $50 on this page? <sighs> okay. Oh, 40? Did you say 40? Did you say 40? <sighs> That's plus 80. Guy, wait. 118 plus 80. Come on, Mr. Calculator, work. 198. Okay, we know I don't have that. Well, how much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Dang. Wait. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91, 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 40, 40. Instantly counts money as if something else is going to fall out of the sky. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 163, $35. Oh, I have $35. Wait, let me think. Let me think. Y'all know I be pulling some stuff out the air, but I don't even think I got nothing to pull out the air this time. I'm just going to have to receive the IOU yet again. Yet again. Something told me to get off that page, but I was like, let's just finish off this page. That way we'll be done with this whole page. Let's just get off that page. Huh. Now we didn't got off the page and I owe money. Okay. And I got all these little bitty bills in this envelope, which I just said I didn't want to do. I tell you, every time I say something, do you guys notice every time I say something, that be the exact thing that goes on? I need to stop saying stuff. Hold on. Let me commingle all this money. Tens, fives. Mm, mm, mm. $35 I owe to this one. I'll get it on the next cash stuff and not my end of the month. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What'd I say? 1,298? 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 90, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 12 And we are going to have to figure out how to get all these little bitties out of here. I don't want all that in my little folder. No, she do not. But that is the flower scratch off. If you guys are interested in any of these folders as well, um, I do sell these down in my Etsy storefront and they're on sale this weekend as well. Well, the scratch off book got me. So let me get the post-it notes. I promise you. I promise you, I'll be thinking in my head that it's not going to do nothing and that it's all going to work out for my good. And sometimes it do. But today I ended up with an IOU again. Just paid one back, oh, another one. That's okay. That's forcing me to already know where $35 at my next budget is going. See what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and get my budget book. Y'all said, put the dog on post-it note over here on the page. Isn't that so smart? Wait, let me go to the month. The month of May. I need a category on it now. Hold on. That's the only other thing, but I will put scratch book. All right, there we go. So if you guys are interested in any of these IOU post-it notes, also some teller breakdown slips that I have, feel free to head over to my Etsy storefront and get yourself some while they're on sale. And on that note, we are done, y'all. We did the Scratch and Save Skipper Double Book and completed another page in this book, but you guys, 
it was a little rough per usual. I'm willing to take the hit. I am super excited that we got $2,280 put away somewhere. What, what, and actually places that it needed to go. Super stoked about that. That's why I was so happy to get done with that challenge because I'm like, that money needs to go in that 100 envelope box for that car or at least some of it. I also need some for Christmas. And I was going to use it for the home repairs, some of it for the home repairs, but I'm like, I have money in savings for home repairs. Like when I didn't get my dryer fixed, I had $1,000. So yeah, take that out of there and we'll make that happen. Anyway, enough chit-chatting. We have had the longest video ever. I hope you guys had a cup of tea to sip while you were here. If you made all the way to the end of this video, put this one single emoji right here, letting me know that you made it and you are a real one. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Also, share this video with someone else that needs some inspiration to realize sometimes the smallest amount over the longest periods of time adds up to a large amount that you can use towards the things that you need. All right, you guys, I think that's everything for today. I will see you soon. Take care.